Feels like it's very hard for Entity to really stop this Phantom Lancer or punish him heavily. Starts yep. going for the ward, quickly kills it. it. He's getting pretty low thanks to this Monkey King, but Nullifier going out, BKB activated by Chrysalis. Yuragi's first life is still up. He's trying to go for Toby right now. Toby is going to turn around. They're charging up the targets. I'm not sure if this is going so well for Entity at all as uh, Amar just goes in with his BKB. They have still yet to clear off this Aegis. They finally might be able to, once again, decrepify a little bit of anti-synergy. The Monkey King doesn't do anything. Yuragi, yes, they finally kill the first life, but your buybacks are going to be wasted here. It's now a dead Monkey King for two minutes. Toby's not going to make it back to the fountain either. He can buy back, but what's the point? You don't have your Dragon Form. Stormstormer's going to get cleaned up, and just like that, the game is done. We could, like, blow this game wide open at any moment. They're trying to find this opening here on the side of OGB. ZM will get revealed, does throw out the shackles, goes in through again, has a BKB, the scatter blast though coming out from Taiga. Cookie out forward, that'll be no boxing to help Matu out in this fight. So they're gonna try to fight through, rolling thunder again, another save coming out here for Mishan himself this time. Although he is silenced up, but they're finding this opening. Can they get the kill over onto Misha? Insania sitting very, very low. They'll kill Insania first. Misha next to follow, but Sai taking a lot of damage. There's going to be buybacks coming out from both of these support heroes. Yuragi hiding in the melt, waiting patiently. Boxy rejoining here with this relocate. Wants to try to help out. Matu sitting a little bit low. They'll be able to go and pop Matu as they'll turn right back around again. This score is looking very sick, but Misha comes back in with the save. Can they keep Yuragi alive is the question. He's going to make it out. They're going to high five all the way through. They kill Boxy. They team yeah, wipe. It's, uh, thank you. His name is uh, basically a Slavic old name that you translate to a gift from God, God's gift or something like that. It's wow. like Bogdan as well. Like Bogdan and Bojdar literally mean the same. They're the same names. <laughs> so he's just a double gift from God. Yeah. My yeah, goodness. Yeah. No pressure then, you know. This guy's got to perform. Oh my God, that is a nice chronosphere from Mr. Amar as he jumps through the back lines, catches out three. No one going to fall as well. That's going to be four heroes dead on the side of Na'vi. Where did he even come from lurking in the shadow? It is because if you, you mentioned. It, I mean, there is a lot of healing, right? Yeah. We have brain sap. We have overcharge. On the other side, we have on the other side we have purification. Plus, once he gets heavenly grace too, so They're both like dancing around it. Amar continues to own the top lane though, 24 11, and then 19 and one, taking start to farm some jungle camps. So, what are the things that we should watch out? <gasps> oh my God, he just beat him down. He's got a dust. Tries to survive, but it's not gonna happen. He gets the solo kill. A little grin there on his face, feeling good about himself. He bought him. He brought himself a dust. Very unexpected. I don't think they collapse so on it. They're all. Thank you, Lacoste. Uh, the bear is gonna be hitting his tower. Uh, but Tomat has to join with his real hero. Here comes on. He has no bear left, and for 25 seconds, but actually it's the BKB. He got to get rid of the plug, and he will. Oh, he's safe for now. There we go, Misha will finally Mars fall on the back lines. It's the back lines together with Yuragi, and they burst on the enemy support. Amar now on the run from the pair, who wants to fight him 1v1. But Tama Hover loses Doesn't have another partner, bear. and that's going to be a really difficult time for them, as they lack the damage. Mika has to come in to deal some more. He has to make a but gets attacked by Amar, and that taunt from the life break will kill him. Matumba summons a second bear for the Savage Roar, but is that gonna be sufficient? That bear's gonna cover his escape. He's been leashed inside the sprout. He can't get away. Oh, no. He's not burning up. He's been disarmed. Matumba will die. His bear will die as well. That's gonna be a second bear. So even now when they kill him, he'll revive without that lone druid bear. Oh, actually he'll- You sure? Yeah, that's a, that's a Leshrac right on this lion's face. Misha just trying to run away from him. No one will be able to chase him down. Uh, oh, my I think he's fine. Yeah, he has a blink now. Should be good. Meanwhile, Amar's gonna find Solo here. And, uh, oh, hello, Adan. Coming in from the side, helping out, but it's only delaying the inevitable with BKB TP away. Amar will be. Oh, he's, no, he can't no, he's, he's, he's staying around. He wants another kill. He wants to kill a second support. Has he got the help coming in? Yes, Tiger is nearby. Has the Aghanim's ultimate going to use it on Amar to keep him alive? No one. He thought this was just free clone to the Mars. Nice but anything but great stun through from General. Featuring tearing BZM apart of the back line. BKB from Matter. They'll kill him regardless. Low hard dance still being chased by Tiger. But on the main side of the fight, Yuragi fighting up with v -Tune here. v -Tune, who's going to take this one as Amar comes around the back lines to kill off the low hard dance? Misha, well, will fall to no one as well as General Search. We see him. We see Yuragi. Look, no way. There's no way he jukes that. No way. <laughs> oh my they god. It's time for the smoke from Secret. They've got their ults up ready to go. Tiger did purchase his shard. As smoke for smoke. Oh, Misha. 
the magic missile out. You're arguing for the side, puts the metamorphosis. Nisha jumps in deep onto the support. Straight away takes out Misha. Buyback will come out. Uh, both OG supports go down. Tiger does not himself have buyback available. Dream start for Secret to the fight. See if Amar can get the jump in. There's the lasso. Amar revving up the epicenter with the E Blade. He's going to jump Nisha. straight to the back lines onto Nisha. The magical oh. damage. It's enough. Amar will be able to take him down. Samael turns over towards Amar. He's got the Chronosphere. He's going to lock. He's going to catch. Yuragi off to the side, the swap's there, swapping so the mail out, and now with Yuragi's meta still going, the mail dies. Three dead on Secret, OG, they're ready to chase over towards Puppy as well. A Secret, they'll lose four, right they'll now, lose... The Tombstone gonna be a big, important placement here for Fada. Looks like he wants to throw it down. And then let's just set things up on a BZM. They go straight away, Snaking's in with the Ghost, just the side of the two of them, but Mar jumps straight over with the Epsilon towards Snaking. The Overgrowth coming out as well as they lock down Tundra, three dead. It's OG, they've not lost anyone quite yet. It's only Fada and Skeeter left alive, and they've got to run. The mailed hit comes in onto Fada, they clean up a fourth OG, and Skeeter, he's not going to get the chance to escape. Amar's back in with another Burrow Strike. Everybody dead on Tundra. Oh, they want to go into the high ground, the Tundra says. Seems a bit difficult. Nine. Not able to clip anyone with the tornado. Fada just steps in. Yuragi deals with him immediately. Fada's gone. So yeah. with a tombstone. Fada wanted to fight, but his team was not close. Now they're going in. I mean, 33 just get ripped to shreds there by BZM. Snaking's gonna head in with a ghost step from the exorcism. Yuragi's got the BKB pop, charges up with the plasma field. Snaking's got Tiger, jumps and gets the three man overgrowth. Tiger does die to the damage of Skidder, but Amar jumps forward with the burrow strike and Epicenter takes out 33. BZM cleaning up once more. He's over with the hits onto Skidder. An ultra kill once again for BZM. They're gonna go, call go, it. Go. They've called it. GG. It is over. As uh, looks like the spot dumps it back on the menu here. 23 minutes. Versus secret. <laughs> All right. Okay. I mean, if you lose to see, uh, to wings. Yeah, true. Glimpse back. Gonna go for Amar here. A big, big kill. Remember, Beyond Godlike's free available for the taking, but he self fuels and does manage to get the Timber Chain away. Duraccio just trying to stick under Yuragi instead. The Clinks does manage to get some distance back. It's BCM who's now in the midst of things. Taiga jumps in with his Echo Slam, hits onto one, does manage to finish off Duraccio with the BKB down. Celery and Ace both trying to slip away into the night. Ace might be able to make it out, but no, the Whirling Death cuts him down last second. A queen. Jumping in is Boom. Trying to finish off the clinks that they were originally searching for. Yeah. Finishes I mean, off Duraccio's kill. Almost found GH and Mind Control, but ends up getting neither. Or maybe he's going to be able to get both. He pulls back Mind Control. Dissimilate's going to do a decent amount of damage. Misha is here maybe to help deliver the finishing blow. They actually managed Who to get it. Who man stop? A push back in. Miracle's certainly dead. And ILTW, he will fall right after him. Oh, what a jump from a bar, and he double tips him this game. He says, laning phase, it's whatever, man. It's about winning the game. That's the important part. Amar's going to go ahead, can complete the trifecta, perhaps. A third stomp onto oh, a third core. him into the next game right there. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, OG. Type of gameplay. Top. They're going to look to get aggressive up there. Yeah. Seven, yeah. Six. Rage, chasing Amar. Taking him on a little bit of a walk here. And he can do that much more damage. Gets the Timber Chain down to the low ground. And knows oh. he's going to be perfectly fine. Did I see that right? I think he used his Quelling Blade to cut the tree that was right in front of him. And then he fused it in the last fight. That's just kind of like an after effect of OG being so far ahead at this point. I think it's correct to Doom and then Doom yourself as long as you can get BZM. Because they did actually. Okay, all right. Mind Control with BKB. The follow-up here from Puck. And they have the Lotus Orb, they'll drop the Dream Coil over onto the two, onto the back lines. Tiger sitting a little bit low, they'll blink away at him, they'll get Tiger. Tiger buying back as Mind Control falling, Nisha also full. Amar though just going after here, and they'll chase after Miracle to find the opening. The Fiend's group comes out, it's over to Amar though, he's so tanky, you can't take him down. Kuro trying to get the air spike off, they'll turn their attention over to ILT. Drop the mantle. They'll chase after him, they want that little fish, they want to catch him in the net, but they'll turn around, find Kuro, chase down GH, it's a triple kill for Yuragi, and they just can't seem to get them off of this area. They drop the mantles, the GG gets called. OG. Oh, the only limitation there is just finding the Harpy after that. This is Idle Legs up to the high OG. ground, looking for any wards. They do manage to get the stun, but the Lotus off goes off first. He actually got some longer stun on his eater, but 33 caught Taiga. That's a dieback for him. 
towards him through Lightnir as well as the bugs. Do land on several heroes. Misha's gonna be caught in the side by nine. They're gonna turn back to him, but the Aphotic Shield quickly relieves him of any disables and he hops over the cliff, down to the river, down to safety. Snake King, though, will go back ba to base in a grave and a body bag. It'll be getting easier for Tundra. Oh, the Gleipnir is gonna be able to catch two with a slight there as well. Bouncing back, another stun onto the Chaos Knight. Amar on point with this Lotus Orb. And now it's just a free-for-all. Whoever Happen they can catch by. at this point in time, a buyback of the event, that's not going to be enough to save Soxa. In fact, he's just going to die right away, right next to Soxa. Skeeter comes back in, does manage to get the kill on a support, they but no at BKBs. what a cost, no BKBs. They respected their own BKBs for so long, but what happened, SVG? Just Weaver is destroying everybody. They got it into their heads that they could fight with just the sheer numbers but nothing oh matches God. magic immunity. They also do have the vision mechanic. They've got the harpy. Pray to the harpy gods. The you see smoke enough. is gonna break on the harpy here. See if they can find the initiation. The supports are gonna be gone on first. They already have the bugs, but they do have the roll-in. A pretty nice one that interrupts Yuragi, but ultimately this BCM, look at him go. Ember Spirit pops BKB. There's they do throw out the black hole and catches the Chaos Knight just as they were hoping, and it's a little bit too late for the Lasso to come in and save anything. Nine trying to protect himself with the roll-up, but he will also be dying here, and Taiga walks away perfectly healthy.